lighting seeds. Marvellous. This is Jack FM in Bristol. Good morning. Live music at the Thecla and the Louisiana tonight. Comedy of the Hen and Chicken and a Midsummer Night's Dream at the Tobacco Factory. Ten questions, 60 seconds, and a cash jackpot. This is gone in 60 seconds. Oh, good morning, James. Oh, hello. Hello. Day seven for you. So it's exactly a week ago since you uh, started your marathon. Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit tired. Okay. Emotional? A little bit emotional, yeah. Okay. Um, before we start today, James, you've got quite a lot of things to say. So what we've decided is we're going to give you 30 seconds of airtime to say all the things you need to say. Ready, go. Okay. First of all, very happy birthday to one of my best friends, Sarah. Second of all, my sister Jo wanted to wish George Michael to get well soon because she was going to see him. And thirdly, the famous person I've met, or not met, but I'm related to, is Tom Jones, who is my uncle's cousin. So Tom Jones is your uncle's cousin? Yes. Very good. Anything else? You've got six seconds. No, that's enough. That's all today. Very good. Um, well, the big decision today is whether you stay or whether you go with your £450. Now, um, let me just make things absolutely clear. If you play on and you don't get six... You lose everything. So £450, set it on fire, put it in the bin. If you get six, you keep the £450 and get to come back tomorrow. Seven or more, and you're in even more money. Seven is 25 quid, 850, 900, 10, 200 pounds. I know you're a gambling man. But I know also that Claire, your lovely other half, might have had a say in it. So are you staying or are you going? I am going to stay. Oh, my oh God! God! Oh, God, I'm so nervous. Well, you should see Claire in the car. She's probably screaming right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did she not know that that was what you are going to do? If you see somebody in a red Peugeot 206 <laughs> in Redland crying... That's probably her. Oh, my God. Um, so, did you discuss this, or is this we just did, an on-the-fly decision? We did discuss it. Um, she did know that I was going to play on, actually, but her last words to me were, don't lose the money. <laughs> oh, God! I'm, I'm nervous now about reading the questions. <laughs> God, as nervous as I am. Okay, all right, well, you've got 60 seconds to answer the questions correctly. The first answer you give us is the one that we take, unless you say pass, in which case you'll return to that question of time allows. If you get six, you save seven or more, and you're in the money. But as always, the quiz master's decision is final. Do you accept the rules? I accept. £450 rests on you getting six of these questions right. Deep breath. Yeah. Good luck. You're gone in 60 seconds. Starts now. Which is the first month of the year to have exactly 30 days? March. What's the 18th letter of the alphabet? Pass. What is the Marquis of Bath's Wiltshire home called? Um, long lead. Where in the body would you find the alveoli? Pass. What's the square root of 49? Seven. What breed of dog is Scooby-Doo? Great Dane. True or false, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was Disney's first full-length feature. True. What's the name for rocks that water can't pass through? In porous. Who went to sea in a beautiful pea-green boat? The Owl and the Pussycat. How many albums does a music artist have to sell to go platinum? 500,000 or a million? 500,000. Uh, what's the 18th letter of the alphabet? Um... <laughs> Just in time, you said T. That's okay. <laughs> Ah. Oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
five. Ooh, they were very difficult at all. Five, five, five. Um, well, the first month of the year to have exactly 30 days is April. Uh, the 18th letter of the alphabet is R. Uh, you've got long leet. Uh, where in the body would you find the alveoli? It's lungs. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got square root. You've got great dane. Um, you've got true. Impermeable was the word we were looking for for the rocks. Um, and to go platinum, it's one million. Um, five is not enough, unfortunately. No, it isn't. To... Um, to have any money or come back tomorrow so no. James from Noel it's been an absolute pleasure I'm absolutely gutted for you well I'll be looking for somewhere else to live tonight <laughs> <laughs> but it is at this point we have to say goodbye to you I'm afraid okay thank you it's been uh, it's been a pleasure up until today thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks for being a brilliant contestant see you okay bye 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 there goes James from Noel, I have to say at this point, it does every day have a choice of questions. He could have gone for, for the other set of questions, but there you go. That's the, the way the cookie crumbles, and they're only easy if you know the answers. It does mean we've got a vacancy tomorrow, though. If you want to play, Bristol 966-1106, just after 8 o'clock tomorrow. 14 minutes past 8, Huey Lewis in the news now, and the power of love at Jack.